So I think it was the wrong time for Nancy Pelosi to do this. Um, and I think the reason for that is because we have a war in Europe currently with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. And, you know, Nancy Pelosi was told by the Biden administration, specifically his defense advisors, not to do this. This is not the right time to agitate China. And I think that whilst, you know, Nancy Pelosi is completely right in saying that China shouldn't dictate where she should travel or where she should not, and she's a very fearless fierce woman um, and I think that it's right that she she went but I think that this time in moment is the wrong time and and I think the reason for that is because of the Russian invasion of Ukraine and this you know allows China to think well actually if Russia can do it to Ukraine maybe we can do it to Taiwan and it seems like what Nancy Pelosi has done is agitated the situation and made China feel like we've got to go and do those military drills we've got to actually do our you know line, line a mark in the sand. Yeah, and uh, the, the um, political strategist there sh was just talking about uh, missiles potentially going off course. We've already seen these missiles in this instance now uh, land in Japanese water. Uh, so aren't you a little bit worried, Lawrence, that this all has the potential to escalate and cause goodness only knows what? Well, my fellow guest was talking about... Um uh, missiles going off course in various things and the uh, leadership of the American army telling uh, Nancy Pelosi it was the wrong thing to do but uh, they've already created leadership of the American army have already created possibly the biggest catastrophe that has ever taken place in American military history which is the, the catastrophic withdrawal from Afghanistan mm -hmm. and then the murder of uh, an entire family while claiming it was a legitimate target so and whilst also going on about white rage and all, all of this stuff from General Milley so I wouldn't actually I don't really trust the head of the uh, American army about anything Mm -hmm. Interestingly, I actually agree with you. I think America is <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, but, but I think the American withdrawal from Afghanistan actually allowed Russia to invade Ukraine yeah. and made Russia think, well, actually, the Americans got defeated in Afghanistan. They surrendered, walked away. This is our moment to show our strength and they're not going to do anything about it. And I think that's why. But this is what I fear in, with China and Taiwan. If you know, America's done this. If they really wanted to support democracy, they would have supported it in Afghanistan and actually helped the Afghan army fight against the Taliban and not withdrawn the way that they did. But they haven't done that. So this talk of we're promoting democracy, we're supporting democracy, I think it falls on deaf ears for a lot of people. And even, you know, President Zelensky, right at the start, wasn't sure if America was going to come through for them um, and open diplomatic conversations with, with the Russians um, they had, in that conflict. They, had, they, they did try and uh, install a democratic uh, government in Afghanistan over a period of, you know, decades, and it didn't work because that was not how the way Afghan culture works or the geography works. I disagree. Uh, I'm Afghan. And no, but, I mean, <laughs> that's what they tried to do. And no, I, all I'm talking think, about is what's happened. But I disagree. That this idea that Afghans don't want the democracy the or this, you know, people lost their fingers voting over the last I'm 20 sure. years. You know, people lost their lives defending democracy in Afghanistan. These ideals were there from before the 1960s So are you condemning America then? No, what I'm saying is that the withdrawal, sh you know, if people were for withdrawal, fine. You know, America couldn't stay there forever, but it didn't have to do it the way that it did. It was a publicity stunt. They wanted well, to get out within they the 20-year anniversary. And they said, they actually made a statement and said, we want to focus on other areas. We want to focus on our competition with China. And now what we see is Nancy Pelosi in Taiwan.